Emma Sanford, Forest Primary School. There's 321 amazing people teaching maths in schools who are champions of Resolve Maths by Inquiry. Mark Ward, Oubre Agricultural High School, South Australia. And today we get to hear from 10 of them who've got something really special to say about the impact in their school, what they've done and how great it's been. All the secrets of nature are written down in that magnificent book which is continuously before our eyes. I refer to the universe. One kid just put up his hand and he just said he was just in complete amazement. He said, maths is everywhere. And he just had that sense, you could see it in his eyes. He was just looking around the room like this, just going, it's everywhere, you know? <laughs> it was really cool. I like doing maths with Miss McCarthy because she makes it a lot more fun and she puts everything kind of in a game. It's not too hard, but not too easy. Everyone's giving it a go. One parent said to me one day, she goes, how do you teach maths from kindergarten to year six? Do you do all the maths lessons? I went, yeah, no. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to do them all. But she goes, they just come home and they talk about your lessons. And I'm only in there sometimes once a week or something. So it's sticking with the children, which is good. Two of these young men, 14 year olds who had been so disengaged with mathematics who after this particular session opened the door and skipped out of my classroom down the corridor past the two cool to be cool guys without any fear of repercussion because they'd finally got it and one of them turned around and said to me, you know Miss Vanishance I really get this algebra stuff, thank you. <laughs> I guess Resolve having uh, low floor, high ceiling activities means that they're challenging and accessible for all students and they, uh, they gain an awareness and a confidence in their own abilities when they realise that their answer is correct and that so it might be different to the persons next to them but they're still tackling the problem solving together. What are we doing right now that mathematicians do, Renuka? Justifying and explaining answers. Justifying and explaining answers. As I'm a classroom teacher, I had to really get the support of my executive teachers and my principal who have backed me completely and have allowed me to go into other classrooms and model Resolve lessons. And I think through modelling and showing the difference it can make, it's really, it's got all the teachers on board. I think the biggest advantage of having these materials with the, is that they're directly linked to the Australian curriculum, which is what we're required to work against in our school. And so um, I could pick exactly where the, a, a material or a, a resource was going to fit into my teaching program. What I learned from the students was that students see themselves now as mathematicians. Students want to be engaged and challenged. Students are no longer worried about making an error. There are many, many different ways to solve one problem. Teachers are no longer just giving us out the answers. We learn from each other and we all have different entry and exit points and maths is fun. With the staff, I think predominantly it's been risk taking. So the willingness to actually try new things, um, particularly in regard to the inquiry approach. It's enabled us to get a group of schools together and to share resources and look at the resolve so that because the, the resource is quality we don't have to go to different sites and wonder is that good enough, does that have problem solving and reasoning in it. One of the lessons we came up with, it's now up on the resolve website, it's called Cartoon Counting and it came about we're exploring the base 10 system and we spoke about that in a classroom we kind of wonder why it's 10 such an important number and you know, look down at your hands and say, I've got 10 fingers, maybe it's something to do with that. And we start to talk about the Simpsons who only have eight fingers and we wonder if they might have a different uh, counting system. So now there's a lesson up there exploring what a base eight system might look like. The thing that moved me so much was that it stopped me having to do anything to convince these, these pre-service teachers about inquiry. Because once they started doing these tasks, they moved themselves. This particular girl said, oh, well, I'm not scared of algebra anymore, I, I know I can go in and teach it. So I mean that's pretty fabulous, you know, for a, for a pre-service teacher who maybe previously would have gone into a school and been scared and maybe 
taught algebra from the back of a textbook because that's all they knew how to do. She's now <laughs> doing it by inquiry. I would hope that the champions have confidence now that they can get up and organise events. They've got some resources to support them in doing it. But importantly, they've got a whole network, a whole community of fellow champions to seek advice from, to help co-present. That would be my dream, that they keep sharing their experiences and ultimately making a difference with what the kids experience in the classroom. Resolve.